B3 job fair is just about ready to go. And it's one of the biggest job fairs of the year, and there's a special need for people in what's known as the industrial science field. Greg Mouse is out in our backyard with a special preview. We're talking about engineers, right, Greg? Yeah, specifically in plant operations, Kyle. So that can be anything from soda to water to oil and gas production. Uh, this uh, trailer right here was actually designed by Red Rock Community College and uh, has a lot of funding partners as well. The basic idea is to explain to people about what it takes to be uh, to be successful in this high-tech uh, world and especially in these high-tech positions. And it's going to make its debut, as you mentioned, at the E3 Job Fair taking place this Thursday. We're going to take you inside, talk more about that in just a minute. But first, kind of a related story talking about the increasing demand for petroleum engineers, part of high uh, today's high-tech world. In fact, a management consulting firm says about 8 out of 10 oil and gas companies around the world are now forecasting a shortage of petroleum engineers through the year 2011. The reason? Increased demand for their product, as well as the fact that a lot of their current workforce is getting ready to retire. The American Petroleum Institute says U.S. energy companies will need at least 5,000 engineers by the end of the decade. Petroleum engineers evaluate the uh, potential of oil and gas fields, and one of their biggest tasks really is to design methods to get the maximum recovery of oil and gas. Well, the demand for a job that requires high-tech workers, as I mentioned, is on the rise here, and that's part of the reason why Red Rocks Community College designed this trailer. Let me introduce you now to Chuck Beck with Red Rocks. Good to see you, sir. This was kind of your brainchild, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Why'd you come up with this? Well, it, we came up with this because we were having a real challenge in recruiting students to the area because this is not a real well-known or kind of sexy area to work. Well, let's you specifically know. talk what kind of positions we're uh, we're, oh, we're, we're talking. Oh, we're talking about operator positions. We're talking about technicians of all kinds, industrial maintenance people, uh, mechanics, uh, electricians, and we're also talking about people to operate water quality or water plants and uh, wastewater plants. And, and these are specifically at big oh, kinds yes. of plants. Yes, right. and they're excellent positions. They're great careers. They pay well, too, don't they? Oh, they pay very well. They, starting pay is anywhere from 18 to 20 two dollars an hour with a two-year degree not, bad. not so. bad at all all right thank you chuck i'm gonna yes. head on in here and let me introduce you to Leisha. uh this is uh, Leisha burnett with uh suncor which is one of the big sponsors Leisha, it's good to see you good morning why uh why sponsor something like this well you know as you know we're the only refinery in colorado yeah. we're the largest in the rocky mountain region we need to be able to partner with a college like Red Rocks because it's able to supply us with uh, workers who are already well trained coming on site to do the work that we need them to do. For, so for us, it's a win-win. Let's take a look around and see some of the things that you will find inside this trailer. We've got the flat screen videos running and right. and some samples of the kind of products and equipment that you'll be working on. And basically what this trailer does is kind of give students an idea of the types of careers and what they would be working with after getting a degree, an associate's degree uh, at Red Rocks in this uh, in this field. And what kind of positions do you have open at Suncor? Well, for us at Suncor specifically, it's process operations. So people would be working with a heat exchanger or with a control valve, and the control right. valve actually you know works to uh, work with the product as it moves through the refinery. Well, it's a beautiful trailer, it really is. It's wonderful. And we'll look for that again Thursday. Thank you, guys, Alicia, for a little Thank sneak you. peek. Thank again, you. if you want some more information about the E3 job fair and see this trailer in person, uh, go to the uh, nine new sponsored events, also sponsored by the uh, State Department of Labor and Employment and the Workforce Centers, and that fair taking place Thursday down at the Adams Mark in downtown. Uh, for details, go to the Mornings button at 9news.com and look for that big E3 job fair icon.